Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to my NHL 20 franchise mode here in Columbus, Ohio. In the previous episode, we got kicked out in the first round of the 2032 Stanley Cup playoffs and I'm as, as disappointed as you are. We went out in seven. Uh, the thing that killed us was our offense in games number four and five. It, our guys didn't come out to help. And then we forced a game seven, fortunately, but unfortunately, we couldn't come up clutch in game seven. And you know, usually I would be upset if we had just won the President's Trophy and lost in the first round. But the Islanders were the team to beat us. Think of all the stars on their team. They haven't amounted to anything in this franchise mode, and I hope they go out and win the cup. I just... Usually I would be... I would be upset. But I'm, I'm not. I can't be upset. We had just won back-to-back -back Stanley Cups. So I'm not upset in the slightest. I can't be. I really can't be. I'm disappointed, obviously. But we just won back-to-back -back Stanley Cups. And we are headed towards a very difficult offseason. And before I do anything else... Ah, thank you for reminding myself, Owen. I want to... Ooh, defenseman. Hmm, a gem. Hello there. Three-year ETA. He better be good. I'm gonna keep... I'm gonna keep my eye on that guy. I want to stop the simul... Oh, oh my god. Well, the Avalanche and Canucks are going at it. Go Canucks. Because I don't want Askarov to win. <laughs> I want to go to view contracts. Because I want to show you our situation this upcoming off season which is happening this episode or next episode de depends on how long the draft takes our best free agent this year is Giroux and he's asking for almost 10 million dollars it's he's worth that kind of money like let's look at his stats during the regular season 72 I mean He's just going up and up and up. 36 goal campaign, almost 40, 24 years of age. He's going to be a sick player. Uh, in the previous uh, two episodes ago, I did sign a few guys to contracts that were UFAs because I wanted to make sure I had their rights locked down, like Stu Cam, Dubois, all those bigger guys. Giroux, I have flexibility. I can manage that outside of free agency. Which is good. There are a few guys here that I want to offer contracts right away. Let's see. Does he want a two-way contract? Three more years? Hell yeah. Take the contract. And you, as you see right there, we're only working with $2 million this offseason. And there's a few players that might be on the way out. Piton, two years. Uh, well. I mean, ah, uh, ah, uh. he's, no, I'll wait, I'll wait on Paton. I want to deal with everything else first. Krebishkov, does he want anything? Two-way, how about, you take that, you take it, do it, do it. <laughs> Let me throw some names up in the air. We have... Big Texas, Zadinia might be coming off the books in way of trades this draft. We don't have a lot of money. We don't. And that's going to be hard to deal with, but I've done it before. And I'll do it again. Now, anybody else? I mean, in the system, anybody coming off the... Whoa! What in the blue hell are you? Francis Swift? Who are you? I didn't acquire this guy. I drafted this guy in the fifth round last year. What? 
Oh my god. That, I didn't even... Goes to show you how much I pay attention. He will fit perfectly, perfectly into my lineup. Oh my god. 20 years of age. Did I just find a stud? <laughs> did I... Did I do that? Am I a genius, everybody? Am I a genius? Uh, I'm gonna go ahead... Sadu, how much does he want? I'll do that for one year. Sure. Oh, it's good. It's gonna be an off-season, isn't it? <laughs> I also think another guy like Kim Hedman, Cece might be on the way out. I want to start clearing up for the future. Schultz, boom. Sadu, boom. Krebishkov, yep. He doesn't want that deal. Philip Zadina, uh... Oh, right, I forgot. Philip Zadina might have played his last game for the Columbus Blue Jackets in the regular season. And it looks like the Vancouver Canucks are your Stanley Cup champions. Now, I want to stop the simulation, and I want to check awards. So, who do they, who do they play? They played the... New York Rangers, the 94 Stanley Cup rematch. Vancouver sweeps. Oh, and the Islanders. <laughs> God dang it. Ah. <laughs> At least one New York team won. My least favorite New York team, by the way. So Vancouver are the new champions. They get to party hard. Just hold on to that trophy tight because we're coming to get it back soon. We're coming to get it back. Look at President's Trophy. Oh my god, four out of the last five years we've been President's Trophy winners. Cool. Individual awards? Jack Eichel is your Art Ross Trophy winner. Hart Memorial goes to Monday Night Raw. Oh, that is beautiful. Four out of the last five years we have Hart Trophy winners on this team. Hoo-wee! James Norris, what did I say? Stu Cam with his... Second Norris. Four out of the last five years, we have Norris Trophy winners. Is this a good team or something? Lady Bing goes to Alex Debrinkat. Calder goes to Mac <laughs> Oh, that's a, that. Who? I mean, his first name is like Donovan. So, well. <laughs> Con Smites goes to Pedersen, who surprised. Vesna goes to. Vashislav Kavanov, the man that I am not upset with at all. He had a fantastic postseason. Those 2-1 to -one games, if the offense would have just kicked in a bit, he had it locked down. You can't ask for much more than two goals allowed in a game. He was great, and I have no quarrels with him. I have no no hate in my body for him. He He's off of two Stanley Cup wins I'm not upset. Does he win the Lady Bing? He does win the Lady Bing. He, oh, that's a second Lady Bing. He has, he already has a Vesna. Did I not know that? Did I, I must have just forgotten. Because, well, he might have been our MVP this season. He had a fantastic regular season. I think he had a good postseason too, even though it ended abruptly. Bill Masterson goes to. Listen, <laughs> hey, listen here. Jack Adams goes to C. Dixon from the, almost said Phoenix Coyotes, Arizona Coyotes. Frank J. Selke goes to Eichel. Ted Lindsay goes to Joshua Waugh. Four out of the last five years, we have trophy winners. Huh. Maurice Richard goes to Shane Wright. He had, what, 67 this year, 10 ahead of the next placed guy. Wow, really, it was a good season all around. I mean, I wish we would have gone deeper into the playoffs, but I'm not too upset. Dallas, wow. I mean, after Goudreau and after all those big guys retired in Dallas, they've really fallen apart, haven't they? <laughs> Screw you, Dallas. <laughs> Whoa! View draft class. What's going on here? I know there was a few guys I had looked at previously. I mean, if I was looking to trade up, 
I would look for a forward. I mean, defenseman as well. I mean, there was a guy at 15 wherever he... This guy. Projected at 18th. We could totally swoop him up. A-plus competition. He's going to be good. But he has character issues. 3 or ETA. I'm hoping he's like a 60-plus overall. And he's a right-handed defenseman. I mean, think of our right-handed D-men. He would fit in for foot here in the future. We have a really deep, really deep center core. And I didn't account for F Francis Swift, who is now a part of this team. So, <laughs> whoopee! <laughs> oh, that's it's awesome. I think it's going to be, hopefully, an okay... It's going to be a... It's going to be an awful offseason. I can already tell that it's not going to be a pretty one. It's going to be ugly. We're going to lose some guys that I don't want to lose. If I don't have to move anybody and I can finagle my way around that, I will. But it's just a matter of time before the cap the cap hurts us. It it happens, really. It, it happens to the best of us. Like, look at all these dynasties. Chicago, Pittsburgh. Cap has really ruined them. Or, in other words, Jim Rutherford is a terrible GM. <laughs> All I'm saying. Really stupid. Wow, we have some retirees this year. Leon Dreisaitl, done, calls it quits on the San Jose Sharks, 36 years of age. 1,273 career points. How long was he in Edmonton? I know we faced Edmonton last postseason in the Cup Finals. Wow, he's been with San Jose for a while. And he hasn't been fantastic, like over a point per game in a while. That's what happens when you lose Connor McDavid. Or Connor McDavid loses you. Mark Shifley also calls it quits at 39 years of age. 13, almost 1,400 career games. You couldn't, he couldn't play one more game. One more game. Really, Calgary? Really, Calgary? Oh, that's just sad. That's just sad. 14, 1,200 career points. Pretty damn good career. Elias Lindholm, Bo Horvat, Alex Galchenyuk. <laughs> what a loser. Wow, 2012 was a bad draft class, wasn't it? Dominic Kahn, Kevin LeBlanc, Jeremy Bracco, Raquel, Bor Bjorkstrand, former Columbus Blue Jacket. Did he have a good career? 665 career points, half a point per game. You know what? Can't be disappointed with that. I mean, in this simulation, we only had him for one year until we traded him to Florida. And uh, I think Nick Felino, if memory serves me correct. Rupe Heinz calls it quits. Chris Tierney, Columbus Blue Jackets legend. 37 years of age. I mean, yeah, it was, it was about time. He won his cup here in Colombo. He won his cup. Alex Tuck, Varan, yeah. It's pretty deep, pretty, pretty deep retiree class. Now, Gabriel Carlson, 240 career points in 856 career games. What a loser. <laughs> Sorry. Pavel Zaka. I mean, yeah. Deep retiree class. Any goalies that called it quits this year? Matt Murray, 502 career wins. Thatcher Demko. My God. Losing some big goaltenders here. Eric Comrie, Columbus Blue Jackets legend. I think he won a cup with us. Pretty, pretty, pretty snail. Did he not? I thought he did. No, that was Tuka Rask. He's a legend. Oh, speaking of former Columbus Blue Jacket, Jonas Corposalo retires. Tyler Parsons, Samuel Montembeau, Tristan Jari, Subban. Yeah. Wow, there's a it's a it's a different NHL here in 2032. Do we lose anybody? It doesn't look like we lose anybody in coaching in the coaching staff. That's pretty awesome. Almost at the draft, time for draft interviews. Now there are a few guys I want to talk to before this thing goes down. 
I mean, is there any? I mean, this guy's looking... I mean, I don't want to move up for another forward, but I definitely want to move up for the defenseman down there. Where is he? Yeah, Alfredson. Jorgen. Jorgen! Alfredson, I have to get this guy. He's looking so good. He's very outspoken. I'm getting him. There's no way you can stop me from acquiring this guy. <laughs> There's, You can't stop the immovable force in the Columbus Blue Jackets. You, you will suffer the same fate as everybody else. <laughs> Now, was that was there anybody I really wanted to talk to? I mean, Dowtry, 40th overall, another goaltender will get. Or pick Hasik. I mean, maybe this Bergeron guy, interview player. I mean, maybe we can get something out of him. Because I'm unsure. We have. I don't know what pick we have this year. I'm unsure. 20 something. But we will be able to move up easy. Easy peasy lemon for breezy into the like 15 to 18 range to get that Jurgen Alfredson, which is going to be a freaking awesome player on this team in the future. Let's hope he's not like a 50 overall. That would not be good. I would not appreciate that. Anybody else here really, pal? I'll talk to the defenseman. Play style. Readiness. Nah. Oh, did I just add? God freaking dang it. God dang it, my thumbs. I'm so stupid. Did we learn anything about Brendan Pow? Pow. Po? Pow. Po. Pow, po. Pow, po. Pow, po. Palpa Palpatine. Palpatine. Oh my god, he's... He's a Sith. I've been watching a lot of Star Wars recently, and I don't know by the time this video's gone up that I've posted the first episode of my uh, Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order series, but that's a thing now, apparently. Brennan Powell. John Carlson. Is there any crazy ETAs here? Because, like, if there's, like, a one, two year... Ooh! Hello there! I want to talk to Sawaltzis. <laughs> Play style. Readiness. Two year ETA. Interesting. Interesting. I know last draft will never be topped. Just because I'm not great at drafting in this game. Especially in this franchise mode. Don't know why. Couldn't tell you why. But we just gotta go with our instincts, I think. Again, I think we just got lucky in the range that we were in the draft last year. Then I don't expect for another repeat of that. But let's just go into it. There are a few things that I want to look at before we start drafting. Now, Chicago wants to trade that pick. And I want to move up. Now, take the 27th. Let's see. Do they have any players on their block that I'd maybe scoop up? Because there are a few deals that I have to make. Ah, uh, I mean, Manning's a pretty good D-man. But we already have a lot of really good guys on the left side. So it'd be unfair, really. It would be unfair. They, they don't want their pick next year. Do they have any goalies? Would they be interested in a pristine goaltender in CC? Who is... I think Kavanaugh's our guy going forward. I just think that's the way it's gotta be. I think Kavanov has proved himself. I think Kavanov is the guy to go with. And look at all the other guys we have coming up. Lap, uh, Lapierre, we have Forstrom, we have Sadu. Hedman's probably gone. But we have a lot of awesome guys that could fill in. But first, I want to make sure I get this pick. Any rookie skaters you're interested in? No, Swift is ours. You can't touch him. Don't touch him. Hmm, skaters matching block? Do they want anybody? Oh, yeah. I guess I got to talk about that. 
We definitely have the clear cap room. Now, Zadinia, 32 years of age, $4 million. Uh, I mean, he's been a productive player on this team. He really has. Over the last few years, two straight cups. I mean, it dipped off a bit this year, but he missed more games. He's a good plus player. I mean, how's his giveaways and takeaways? Takeaways are fantastic. God, it's hard to get rid of a player like that. It really is. Now, where is... Wow, 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 wow. Where is he? Big... Te oh, my God. Big Texas. Oh, we gotta get... Oh, this sucks. Okay, first. I'm not gonna even... I think we have to get... Rip the band-aid off right away. Or I guess we'll sim the first... We'll sim... We'll sim the pick. Sim... Sim pick so we have extra time to... Whoa! Bertuzzi is a franchise power forward. Oh my god, Eric Lindros who? <laughs> but before anything... We have to find a trade. And this is something that I... Never wanted to do this early. I thought he was going to retire a Columbus Blue Jacket, but it doesn't look like he's going to stay at that overall. Six more years at almost $5 million. If we clear that up, and maybe Zadinia will be able to bring back Giroux. And we're going to have to redefine our bottom six because we're losing a lot of talent this year. Does anybody want Big Texas? Nobody wants him. So I guess we're going to do this manually. I mean, let's let's go to Chicago. Let's let's talk. Let's talk. Well, of course our first round pick is in order and maybe our th our third. Okay, we'll add that on and Big Texas as the throw-in piece. Wow, I thought I'd never say that. That hurts. I know he's a fan favorite. It's going to suck not seeing him in a Columbus Blue Jackets jersey. But I think it's the right thing to do. You add another caliber... I mean, not a good defensive player on that team. I mean, they might be good here in the future. But I'd be willing to do that trade. Trade rejected. Okay, we're going to have to give up a bit more than that. So any goaltender prospects? We got a lot of them. We have a lot of them. Where's Kim Hedman? Kim Hedman. Let's add him on. He's not really great. <laughs> so my might is might as well. Anybody coming off a contract this year? I'll take this guy in in, in exchange. Do they want to give up anything next year? Maybe a second? Come on. Do the trade. Oh, wow. We got the cap off the books, but at what cost? That was the right thing to do, I know that. But it doesn't hurt. It, hurt. it hurts a lot. But it had to be done. For the future of this franchise, I can't hold on to the past. I know I didn't discuss this with anybody. <laughs> In the chat, I know there might be people upset about that. And it happens. But this is the best course of action. It is. But but I'm not done here, okay? <laughs> not by a long shot. There's That's not the one crippling move that we're going to have to make this offseason. Anybody want CC? Anybody? Because I think Sadu's the guy to go with. Come on. I know Detroit's going to make their pick here any second, but I want to make sure nobody wants CC. Somebody wants CC. Anderson Dolan. Wow. Wow. Edmonton. That's. Uh, I guess we're going to have to wait for CC. Maybe wait until the start of free agency to trade that around. But how's the draft shaped up so far? Bertuzzi. Threfall. Sniper. <whistles> Gotta like that. Kovacs. Hakkinen. Or sorry, not Hakkinen. Hack. Oh, it is Hakkinen. Hakkinen. Ooh, 
uh, what's his first name? Like Scott, Sammy Hackinen. Who is he Finnish? I don't know if he's Finnish or not. Oh my God. Mass, Peral, Dmitriev, Sestito. I mean, it's not a, it's not a bad draft so far. Not a bad draft at all. Now, obviously, the guy that I've been looking at for a while now, Jurgen Alfredson from the Fergelstad <laughs> SHL, right-handed defenseman, 18 years of age. Welcome to the club. How you looking? 62 overall. That's a project, but he'll fit in in the future. I'm not too upset with that kind of trade. Now, then there's another trade that needs to be made. Who's... Is there any over-expensive guys on this team that I'm like, why are they here? Calfoot, maybe. Kachuk is gone. Milano. Meh. Hornquist. I mean, no, it's just... Wow. We have a lot of money locked up in a few of these guys. Now, is it Calfoot that goes? Is it Calfoot? Was he just... Is there anybody out there willing to tr make a trade? For Cal Foot, nine trades. I don't want to take on any money. First round, two first round picks from Vancouver, but they're pretty good. Mm, I'm gonna talk. I'm gonna talk to Vancouver because I would rather not lose Philip Zadina. He's a great bottom six player. He's an even better top top six player but he doesn't fit in like that but if we can trade foot for a prospect in a first maybe then it's looking a little better we'll have more money to deal with we have defensemen who can fill in for foot not at that overall but we have younger guys who are willing to step up now, anybody here? I mean, I'd rather get their first next year, their first this year. Well, I don't want their first this year. Let's see if we can uh, first, second, and then their first the year after. Trade rejected. Trade rejected. Trade rejected. Okay, they don't want to give their, up a their pick two years in advance. And that's okay. Any Anybody cool here? They willing to trade? I don't want to bring on... Because we're at the point where we have too many good players. <laughs> and it's gonna we're going to get in that sort of crunch here in the future now. Who are you, Simon14? No, this was the guy drafted a few years ago. I remember him. I kind of want him. He's on his entry-level contract. I'm trying to think of my young depth. Uh, well, I mean, you know, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna take the first, the two firsts, and then maybe a second this year. Thank you, Arizona. Oh, thank you for ruining that. I thought I had time. Wow, what a stupid pick. What a stupid pick. Boo this team. Boo this game. Boo it. Boo it! Yeah, I didn't even realize... I forgot Foot was on this team, and me, there are other players that can fill in for him. I, I believe that. Totally. Like, we have Krebishkov. We have a few other players that I can't recall at this very moment. But we have guys that can fill in for him. Not at that kind of cap. But then we have Orpik. We have a few guys that we can look to in the future. Calfoot, throw him here. Let's see if they make that trade. Trade rejected. Maybe we can steal a third. Come on. I know you want to give us a third round pick. Come on, boys. I know you want to do it. Come on, Calfoot. Welcome to the club. I think that trade makes sense for both clubs. Just because, you know... Vancouver's coming off a cup win. They're like, why would we even need our picks? Because we're such a good team. Who else did we miss here? I think we got a pretty good medium elite. When was the last time we got a medium elite in the first round? It's been a, it's been a few years. 
Anybody? I mean, it's it's been a lower overall draft, but a few top sixes, a few a few medium top fours here and there. Loktenov. Ooh. Nah. Well, I mean, Anisimov. Wow, that was way too hard to say. Terence Piton, the brother. Of Zach Piton, I'm. Whoa, I have to. I have to make that pick, right? If he is, oh my God. Right? Is Zach Piton Canadian? Cause I gotta get the brother duo out there, right? Piton. Piton, tell me you're Canadian. He's American. Guess I'm not going with that pick. <laughs> they might be. Hey, you don't know that. I don't know that. I don't want to judge. I don't judge. Ever. Rodin. Oh, whoa, the goalie, too. Right, I forgot about the goalie. But do we need a. How good is this guy gonna be? Right? Like, what's the point? Do we go with, like, another centerman? I kind of want the. Pl Claude Giroux. Yeah, we're going for the Mikhail Rodin with this pick. From A plus competition. I'm going with the pick. pick. I'm doing it. Okay? We already know his potential, but how good is he? That is a damn good pick. 17 years of age and 66 overall. He's a he's an offensive weapon, apparently. So that is awesome to see. Let's sim up to our next pick. 58th overall. We're gonna miss the goalie. I ain't too upset if he's if he's not too good. A lot of medium top nines here. Piton, thank God I didn't grab him. <laughs> Ooh. Dowdery, 53 overall. We have so many medium elite goalies. You know your goalie tandems are good when you don't, when you pass up on, on a medium elite. Low elite there, two, two top sixes and a top four. A few of them here. Hazek's pretty good. But I think we went with the right guy. Now, 58th overall. Let's see, let's see, is there anything interesting at this pick? Do we have anything scouted? It might be a shot in the dark, each of our next picks. I mean, yeah, not a whole lot jumping out at me here. We got maybes, 83rd overall. Maybe... Yeah, it's a lot of shot in the darks. We're gonna... Oh, I mean... Yeah, it's a lot of... A lot of guessing. I'm not expecting the rest of the draft to go so smoothly. Harrison Barnes, four-year ETA. I mean... You know what? Might as well go with the defenseman. Shouldn't have done that. Should not have done that. God freaking dang it. But I think it has been a successful draft so far just because... We saved some cap room. We're going to be able to get our guys back that we needed to get back. So uh, it's been it's been an important and pivotal draft that's helped out. We lost a few key players, but we can turn it around. We have a lot of young pieces that can help us out. Defenseman. Oh, I mean... Jarvanen. Oh my god, we got to go with Jarvanen. It's already done. I don't care. God dang it. We have a lot. We gotta, We keep getting a lot of those. But you know what? 63 overall. Top 6. Not a bad pick. But I just want more. I want more. I want more. Give it to me. Yeah, it's not a very deep draft this year. Not a... Nope. Nope. No. Nope. Nope. Not at all. Not in the slightest. But what are we looking for here? What are we looking for? Another goaltender from Finland. Is he? Come on. I swear to God. Franchise player. Come on. Do it. 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 Fringe starter. Not a great pick. <laughs> not really. But uh, whatever. You know what happens. It's not going to be a great draft. Our scouts didn't really do good this year. I'm going to have to look at that in the offseason to improve our scouting because... I feel last year was the only time they scouted very... Whoa! Dryden! Montreal gets another Dryden. Maybe 
maybe son of or cousin of Ken Dryden, Quentin Dryden. Oh, what a pick, Montreal. Love that. That is, wow. I love, that is something I'd like to see. Good for you, Montreal. He better be good. Vince Bileski. Any crazy ETAs here? Maybe a one-year ETA <laughs> franchise player. Please. 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 No, not looking like it. Anything that just jumps off the board? Chubashov? He's a little later. I mean, probably stay in our range, right? Let's go with... Uh, it's not overager. Do we have any gems, my guys? Scouted? Yeah, we, so we don't. We don't. Okay, that's cool. Persinger, Chuba. Let's go with Chubasov. Screw it. Is he good? No. The answer is he's not good at all. Okay. Okay, I see how it is. I see how it is. I get it. Anything good here? <laughs> My voice just goes up seven octaves. Wow. Yeah, it's been such a good draft, everybody. Not as good as last year. Ha <laughs> ha. Oh, this is gonna be this is gonna be an episode to to edit. This is definitely gonna be an episode to edit. I can't wait to go back and hear myself do a Mickey Mouse impression. It's gonna be great. Anybody here? I mean, Manlo is he is pinned by our scouts. You know what? Screw it, Manlo. Welcome to the club. Be good. Wow, it's not been a good draft. <laughs> Nothing is going right. Did those teams miss anything? Tell me they did. Yeah, they didn't get anything good either. So, we, we good, we good, we good, we good, we good, we good. We good, we good. We good. Yeah, cool, cool. <laughs> well, scouts pinned a few other people. I'm more inclined to go from the guy from Russia. He's an overager though, so probably not great. Our scouts suck, wow. Lundin. I'm going with the defenseman. Screw it. Good. He, he's good. No, 49 overall top six. Not a really deep draft. I haven't seen anything else good from anywhere in this draft. So, we're not losers. We got the job done. We did what we needed to do in this draft. I can't be too upset at the outcome. Oh, wow. Montreal gets another... Oh, my Jesus. They get another medium elite... Goaltender Asher Peters. What a name. <laughs> Asher Peters. Oh my god. You look at your son and go, Asher Peters. <laughs> Jesus, that poor child. I've been looking th at this guy all season. And I don't know. He's not going to be good, I can tell. But like, I want him. Damien Persinger, welcome to the club. Uh, well, 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 well. That wasn't a good draft. I gotta say that. <laughs> it was not a good draft. But we did what we needed to do. We lost a Columbus Blue Jackets legend in Big Texas. Alexander Texier, thank you for your years of service on this team. This episode is dedicated to you. If you've enjoyed this one, please leave a like, leave a comment, share with people who you think may enjoy this sort of thing. I'll see you in the next one. Ciao.